Why some countries are poor and others rich is one of the central questions of social and economic sciences. The answers have been sought from very different angles, geographic location, cultural factors, leadership. The Turkish economist Darren Athamoglu has a different approach. The key element that determines the economic growth of a country lies in its institutions. For this line of work, he has been awarded the BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Award in the Economy, Finance and Management category in its ninth edition. Institutions are the rules and regulations that guide our interactions with other people. So they determine our opportunities our, and our incentives. Athemoglu, a professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, is one of the most cited economists today. In his book, Why Nations Fail, published with his colleague James Robinson, who is also an economist, he establishes a difference between two types of institutions, inclusive and extractive, where the former provide an equal footing. That provide opportunities for a broad cross-section of society, and they also provide incentives for people to take those opportunities and develop them in a productive way. However, some societies are governed by extractive institutions, which are characterized by making contracts difficult, discouraging innovation and the incorporation of technology. Growth in this type of economy is possible, even in a very fast way, as in the case of China, but it's not sustainable with time. For the most part, for long-run, sustained economic growth, you need technological change, you need innovation, you need creativity. And all of these things flourish under inclusive economic institutions. That's why, insists Athemoglu, there isn't another way, or at least he hasn't found it, of ensuring long-run prosperity for a nation than striving towards achieving inclusive institutions.